the energy is contained, which makes it a lot more enjoyable. I've always said that indoor is always the best way to receive a crown. It is no secret that American sprinter Noah Lyles is aiming at history in more ways than one. In fact, the 26-year-old may just be the face of track and field, a title an American hasn't held in quite some time, especially after his astounding performance at last year's World Championships. Needless to say, he appears to be on the fast track to similar success in Paris. The 2023 World Athlete of the Year in the men's track category came to receive the award after a stellar season. After all, Lyles' 2023 campaign saw him take three gold medals at the Worlds, with individual victories in the 100m and 200m and as part of Team USA's winning 4x100m relay squad. What's even more notable, though, is that he is the first American to win a Male Athlete of the Year award since decathlete Ashton Eaton in 2015. Now the question is, will he actually get to make more history this year? Well, he plans to do so. Lyles was always slated for the 100, 200, and 4x100m relay races this summer, the three races he won the gold in last year in Hungary. But three doesn't seem to be enough for him. In a recent interview, the American sprinter shared what a friend told him about getting three gold medals. Forget three, you need to go after four. Do something no one's ever done. In response to that, Lyle said, When you want to talk about being the greatest, that's what you have to achieve. So I announced that that is a goal of mine to complete. Why not do it on the biggest stage, the Olympics? Unsurprisingly, or perhaps surprisingly for some, four gold medals aren't even his focus. Lyles is the heavy favorite to win the 200 meter, but now he's in the conversation to beat Usain Bolt's world record of 19.19. While a gold in the event would be nice, there's more on the line for Lyles. It's the dream goal. It's the first world record that I kind of put up as, I want that to be mine, Lyles says. The 100, I've still been learning, but the 200 is my favorite event, and it's the time I've put the most into, so when I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's the world record I want to be mine first. For context, Bolt ran his 19.19 at the 2009 World Championships in Berlin. Meanwhile, Lyles' current personal best is 19.31, the third fastest ever and current U.S. record. It has always been an open secret that he is eyeing Bolt's records in the 100 and 200 meters. He was the fastest man ever to do it, says Lyles before adding with a grin, and soon it'll be me. Getting closer to Bolt's world records of 9.58 and 19.19 will require patience and improvement, though many would agree that the Jamaican's legacy as the greatest ever won't be challenged by the current generation of sprint stars. Lyles, for his part, thinks that he has a different approach to Bolt, an eight-time Olympic champion who retired in 2017. When it was time to show up, he showed up. He got it done, says Lyles. I'm kind of more the guy who likes to assert his dominance throughout the whole year. And so, with the Paris Olympics in sight, Noah Lyles seems to be working double time to enter with his target number of gold medals or surpass Bolt's records, or both. If his performance so far is any indication, his aspirations of winning gold medals this season may just be attainable. How so? Well, the reigning world champion in the 100m, 200m, and 4x100m showcased his incredible form by setting a personal best of 6.44 seconds in the 60m event at the World Athletics Indoor Tour Gold Meeting in Boston in early February. It is notably a personal best by 0.07 seconds and, as mentioned, by far the fastest time of the year. It was a notably closely contested race, with Lyles narrowly defeating Jamaica's Akeem Blake, who clocked 6.45 seconds, while Ronnie Baker, the 2018 World Indoor Bronze Medalist, secured the third spot with a time of 6.54 seconds. Fred Curley, the 2022 World 100m champion, finished fourth in his second ever 60m indoor race, recording a time of 6.55 seconds. Lyles, who had previously won his heat in 6.54 seconds, exuded confidence after achieving the world lead in the 60m event. My confidence has now skyrocketed. Let's go get a world indoor medal, exclaimed Lyles. What's more, Lyles not only surpassed his own personal record, but also eclipsed Maurice Greensmeet record from a quarter of a century ago. 
He is now tied for seventh fastest in American history in the shortest sprint. I didn't know I was in that good shape, Lyle said after beating the Jamaican Akeem Blake by 0.01 seconds. World lead, meet record, now let's go out there and get a world indoor medal in Glasgow. During the past indoor season, Lyles lowered his best 60-meter time to 6.43 seconds, then ran a fraction slower than that as he finished second behind compatriot Christian Coleman in the World Championship final. Another silver followed in the 4x400-meter relay, Lyles' second official performance in the event, and now he is stepping up his preparation for the outdoor season, chiefly the Olympics. To be honest, I think that the last three years have all been build-ups, he says. Now, if we look at last year in 2023, it was, okay, this is the blueprint for 2024. We nailed that so well that now we're just in an automatic pilot mode. After smashing his own numbers from last year's New Balance Indoor Grand Prix and defending his title like a pro, Noah Lyles declared, we are coming after everything. His great start in Boston just fueled his confidence more. It only makes me think about outdoor competitions as well. Why not world records? Why aim for something small when we can aim high? It was the only warning he gave before sharing what his actual goals are for the season. Yes, he really said, if I don't get four medals, I'm going after three world records. Four medals in what events, you may ask? Well, Lyles, who specializes in the 100 and 200 meters, would like to compete in the two short sprints in addition to the 4x100 and 4x400 relays at the Paris Olympics. That's right, I want to do all that. Last year I did the double. This year we've gone very strong in the weight room and it's been able to give me the ability to handle more load. I think I was able to prove that when we went over to Glasgow, he said in an interview in early March. I was able to run three rounds in the 60 in one day, get one day break and come run the 4x400 relay after that. Two completely different races and very little time to prepare for them. I just feel like every time I step up to a new challenge, my body responds to it. As he recently admitted, the main reason for his success last year was upping his intensity in the weight room. I've been lifting a lot more, he said, explaining that his attitude towards the weight room has increased. When I achieved the treble in Budapest, I was very shocked at how my body held up. Every time I go to athletics competitions, I ask myself, how many races can I participate in? If my body holds up and I'm in the right mental space, I can do a sub-44 or even sub-43 second relay in the 4x400 meter. Will he actually be able to bring home gold from all four events? We'll see in just a few months. Likewise, many are wondering how this athlete would actually perform in Paris.